In his resignation letter, Coach Lance Engelke said he could no longer put up with the online threats to himself, his family, and his coaching staff. In his two seasons at the helm, the middies went 1-19. and Engelke wrote about a misguided community perspective on the irrational importance of winning high school football games. On the way into Triple Moon Coffee Company this afternoon, Tim Lewis recalled his senior year beating St. X in the season opener, talked about the pride of MIDI athletics. As another school day came to a close, he found it unsettling to ponder actual death threats directed at a coach or other staffers. If that's true, it's, it's unfortunate. I haven't seen anything with the letter. I did hear this morning that he did resign. Um, I never got the chance to meet him, um, but I do know a lot of people still involved with that, with the football program and with, uh, with the school in general. Um, and I'd, I'd heard lots of good things about him. I heard he was a positive individual and, he, and, uh, and a lot of people liked him in the community. Inside the triple moon sat Joe Cox, a former tackle at Middletown under the previous coach. As the coffee brewed and the words of Coach Engelke hung in the air, winning and losing at the high school level should not be a life-threatening situation, he shared this. That's not too surprising, honestly. Uh, people get uh, pretty heated around here over high school sports, especially football and basketball. So um, that doesn't surprise me too much. I remember in the 90s, I've heard stories of Coach Otten getting death threats as well. In his letter of resignation, Coach Engelke referred to an unsafe environment. Superintendent Marlon Stiles, who we spoke with, took exception to that, telling us he's confident that players and staff are 100% safe. Live in Middletown, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John.